a relationship, a partnership. You know you want it. You know they're hard work. And you know you want one anyhow. Just like any important life event though, we all know the hardest part is the startup. Do I stay or do I go? Are we all happily milling around in the friend zone or are we missing obvious signs? Here's what to look out for to see if you've moved beyond buddy into the realm of interest. Number one, they really want to be around you all the time. Sure, we hang out with our friends. We chat with them, text with them. Some of them you casually touch base daily because smartphones, am I right? But even with your bestie, do you really want to be there with them all the time? Probably not. If you notice a friend's increase in hey, let's meet up suggestions, or even that they're always sitting up the next time you'll hang out while you're currently with them. They just might have a thing for you. You might be thinking, wait, maybe they're just doing this because they have nothing better to do. Okay, that leads us to the second point. Number two, they make you a priority over others. It's not that they have no life, it's that they're putting aside other things so that they can focus on what's important. And that means you. Listen and observe for signs that they've chosen to spend time with you instead of something else you know is important to them. Did they just bail on their weekly gaming session to hang with you? I think there might be some springtime all up in the air. Number three, they are scientifically affectionate. For science! See, science is always with us. Trust the science. There was a study done that revealed five indicators that when they were all present together, it meant that the person was scientifically in love. They are empathy, like when they're there at your low point, wanting to be around them, like in all those frequent hangouts, sharing their feelings, time, even their fries, sacrifice, gaming session, what gaming session? They chose you instead, joy. This should be obvious, but they're significantly visibly happy being around you. Wow, so there is a love potion number nine. It's just not necessarily made in a lab. There's been a huge decline in mental health around the world, which is why we're so committed to creating more content than we ever have. Thanks for being a part of our journey. Number four, they be touchy-feely. And we don't mean this in a creepy way. Think more of the Chobi movie way. We know you're thinking, I don't watch rom-coms, but you've seen this in any movie where there's possible sexual tension. The pool shark offering to teach the person how to hold the cue properly. The golf expert wrapping their arms around the person to make sure their grip on the shaft of the club is correct. And there was so much innuendo there, you can't miss it. Like, come on, we all know they weren't needing that much instruction. Same goes for someone who might be interested. A buddy might be like, yo, you have something on your cheek, and then keep it moving. The interested one might say the same, then reach over and gently brush your face with their fingertips to wipe the smudge away. Number five, they ask for your opinion on things. This is a bigger deal than you might realize. Think of it this way. Would you ever voluntarily ask the opinion of someone you disliked, didn't trust, or didn't respect? Probably not. They're asking you for your opinion means that they trust you're being honest and that your thoughts are valued. They might even be doing some indirect research to see if you're a kindred spirit. Number six, they get a bit steamy around you. D no, take the smoke machine away, not that kind of steamy. The term hot under the collar, blushing, the song fever, that's what we mean. Blushing is a great indicator, but it's not always visible due to complexion, genetics, or full coverage makeup. Biologically, there is blood rushing to their skin, which means a rise in temperature. Looks like they've got a fever, and the only prescription is you. And number seven, they mirror your actions. If you have a younger sibling who annoyed you by copying your movements and words, mirroring is not that. Mirroring is subconscious. Like attracts like. It's when you're walking with that someone and you notice you're walking in step with each other, or you cross your arms while talking and notice they now have their arms crossed too. That's their brain subconsciously prodding them to, in an odd way, physically empathize with you because they like you and they very likely aren't aware of it. Did anyone come to mind when you heard these points? Did you think of yourself doing this towards someone? Do you think you see a sign but aren't sure if it is? Please comment and discuss below. You never know what insight you might gain. Above all, love is a good and wonderful thing. So even if it's not showing up here and now, keep these signs in mind for the future and carry on.
While you're love crusading though, please tap that like button on the way. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.